presence of the dead king resided within the pyramid so that it endured forever. Pyramid Text 600 In our model for verification, the essence of the deified king indicates the union of the sun god and deceased or the insertion of final human elements into the phase DNA capsid that is the pyramid head. When a bacterial feed attaches to a host cell, its DNA is pumped out of the head, down the tail, and into the cell. The Pyramid of Unaz and the Pyramid of Pepe I, as well as the Pyramid of Teti, the Great Pyramid, and others were constructed with pyramidal head structure and causeway tails that are similar to phage morphology. This passage from the Theban recension equates the sun god ra Atum with the geometric shape of a pyramid which is similar to phage lambda morphology. Further, the deceased states, I am he of the Pyramidion. Coffin text 422. Both Geb, the earth, and Atum grant that a pyramid and temple be installed and enclosed for the deceased and his double. Pyramid text 534. The Pyramid Text of Pepe the First. Utterance 432. Sarcophagus Chamber, West Wall. The king prays to the sky goddess. O oh, great one, who became sky, you are strong, you are mighty, you fill every place with your beauty, the whole earth is beneath you, you possess it. As you enfold earth and all things in your arms, so you have taken this peppy to you, an indestructible star within you. Utterance 440, Sarcophagus Chamber, West Wall. The King asks for admittance to the sky. If you love life, O Heru, upon his life staff of truth, do not lock the gates of heaven. Do not bolt its bars after you have taken Pepe's Ka into heaven. To the god nobles, the god's friends, who lean on their staffs. Guardians of Upper Kemet, clad in red linen, living on figs, drinking wine, anointed with unjuent. That he may speak for Pepe to the great god, and let Pepe ascend to the great god. Utterance 442, Sarcophagus Chamber, West Wall. The king becomes a star. Truly, this great one has fallen on his side. He who was an idiot was cast down. Your hand is grasped by Ra. Your head is raised by the two in the odds. Lo, he has come as Orion. Lo. Osiris has come as Orion, Lord of Wine at the Wag Feast. Good one, said his mother. Er, said his father, conceived of sky, born of dusk. Sky conceived you and Orion. Dusk gave birth to you and Orion, who lives lives by the God's command. You shall live. You shall rise with Orion in the eastern sky. You shall set with Orion in the western sky. Your third is Sirius, peer of thrones. Sirius is your guide on the sky's good paths in the field of rushes. Utterance 446, Sarcophagus Chamber, West Wall. The sky goddess protects the king. O oh, Osiris Pepe, 
Newt, your mother, spreads herself above you. She conceals you from all evil. Newt protects you from all evil. You, the greatest of her children. Utterance 454, Sarcophagus Chamber, West Wall. The king's power embraces sky and earth. O oh, Osiris Pepe, you enfold every god in your arms, their lands, and all their possessions. O oh, Osiris Pepe, you are great and round like the ring that circles the islands. Utterance 486, Antechamber West Wall, the king is a primordial god. Hail! O waters brought by Shu, which the twin springs raise, in which Geb has bathed his limbs, so their hearts lost fear, so their hearts lost dread. Pepe was born in noon, before there was sky, before there was earth, before there were mountains, before there was strife, before fear came about through the Horus eye. Pepe is one of that great group born aforetime and own, who are not carried off for a king, who are not brought before magistrates, who are not made to suffer, who are not found guilty. Such is Pepe. He will not suffer. He will not be carried off for a king. He will not be brought before magistrates. The foes of Pepe will not triumph. Pepe will not hunger. His nails will not grow long. No bone in him will be broken. If Pepe goes down into water, Osiris will lift him up. The Enneas will support him. Ra will take Pepe by the hand to where a god may be. If he goes down to earth, Geb will lift him up. The Enneas will support this Pepe. He will be led by the hand to where a god may be. Utterance 517 Passage to the Antechamber The King Addresses the Ferryman O oh, boatman of the boatless just, ferryman of the field of rushes, Pepe is just before heaven and earth, Pepe is just before this isle of earth. To which he has swum, to which he has come, which is between the thighs of Newt, he is that pygmy of the dancers of God, bringer of joy before his great throne. This is what you heard in the houses, what you overheard in the streets on the day Pepe was called to life to hear what had been ordained. Lo, the two on the great God's throne who summoned Pepe to life eternal, they are well-being and health. Ferry this Pepe to the field, the great God's beautiful throne, that he may do what is done with the revered. He commends them to the cause. He assigns them to the bird catch. Pepe is such a one. He will assign Pepe to the cause. He will assign Pepe to the bird catch. Utterance 573. Awake in peace, O pure one, in peace. Awake in peace, Horus of the East. Awake in peace, Horus of the East, in peace. Awake in peace, soul of the East, in peace. Awake in peace, Horus of Lightland, in peace. You lie down in the night bark. You awake in the day bark, for you are he who gazes on the gods. There is no god who gazes on you. O oh, father of Pepe, take Pepe with you, living to your mother Newt. Gates of sky, open for Pepe. Gates of heaven, open for Pepe. Pepe comes to you, make him live. Command that this Pepe sit beside you, besides him who rises in light land. O oh, father of Pepe, command to the goddess beside you, 
to make wide Pepe's seat at the stairway of heaven. Command the living one, the son of Sirius, to speak for Pepe. To establish for Pepe a seat in the sky. Commend this Pepe to the great noble, the beloved of Ptah, the son of Ptah, to speak for this Pepe. To make flourish his jar stands on earth, for Pepe is one with these four gods, Imseti, Happy, Duamut Ep, and Kepsenuf, who live by Ma'at, who lean on their staffs, who watch over Upper Kemet. He flies, he flies from you as men do ducks. He rests his arm from you as a falcon. He tears himself from you as a kite. Pepe frees himself from the fetters of earth. Pepe is released from bondage.